How about another round for Bruise Day Tuesday? Here is Drez and Huck. I ain't got any on the mic. But I'm, I'm struggling over here. <laughs> it's like all over the counter. There it is. There, there it is. is. Bruise Day Tuesday continues. Drez alongside Huck uh, from Huck's Beer Buzz in studio. And we are drinking beers from North Carolina. You handed me a beer. You told me not to look at what it was until I popped it. I gave I it to you because it. it was more appropriate for you to have it. You may now read it. Baby Maker. <laughs> I ain't making no more babies. Well, neither am I, man. <laughs> you never know. I ain't making no babies. I mean, you're capable of it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? You got the old snip snip? Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, I'm man. I'm th- <laughs> Shoot, I'm thinking about it, dude. <laughs> Jeez, I ain't trying you to play that 12 game. hours on an overnight flight with about 10 of them, and you'll do that every time. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is from uh, Triple, Triple, Triple C Brewing. C Brewing. Triple oh, C. Triple C Brewing. Triple C. What's up with that Triple C? Well, Wait a minute. They didn't name that after like what I oh, think Oh, I don't know. Did, you, is it? you always got this young people stuff. I do not know. I didn't well, really. Triple C's is like, that's like a, that's what is some, it? some type of drug. It could be. Triple C's, like that's, I want to say it was like a, um, I mean, I don't know if people Their still use it. Their website's not really in depth. That might be. Why. I'm just saying <laughs> Maybe they're it's all not hopped really... up on triple C's. Yeah, I'm there's... trying to even remember what those were. One that I can't remember if it was like a a painkiller type deal, or it might have been even more of like a you know some type of a. Um... Well, my drug days, you know, knowledge of drug days go back to like Quaaludes and Black Beauties. I want to say triple C's were so were kind of like ago. like Benadryl and stuff, like some over the counter stuff that if you just abused it, you would just trip. Like oh triple C could be I don't know man but I'm I'm gonna tell you that of the breweries I visited in Charlotte this was one of the best now I have not had either of these beers so I got these because I hadn't had them but I did I'm just gonna give you a little review I'll here. tell you what this baby maker's smelling pretty good you well, know how, we we love the doubles and I and with the name triple C you got to think and hope that maybe there's some triples over there that are probably pretty well good. I was gonna say I had the fourth Belgian triple and I gave it a four and a half. Okay, that's a good score. Yeah, and I had their paradise. But when you're, and but I when you're it there, four, two, five. Yeah. when you're there, I would think you'd be giving out some even bigger scores. Like if it was actually good, you would be like, "All right, this is a five. No, it was. I mean, it was a lot of beer that day. A lot. Of, I mean, I was ordering like twenty tasters, and we would leave uh, thirteen. So a lot of competitions behind. too. Yeah, a lot, a lot of beer. I mean, a couple of the breweries had twenty two, twenty four beers, and it was like there was eight or nine of nine. Of, there were nine of us. And we would just go in and take turns ordering all the beers. That's what you would do. And then I would get to go first because I'm Huck. And I would taste all the beers <laughs> yeah. like I do. You do you, that you quick see sip. Me, quick right, sip. I do the quick sip. Then I go back through a second time, pick the four or five best. And, and, the, then, and the problem and then was you take them. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people didn't know my thing. And they'd be like, grab me. It's like, I'm working here. And they're like, what? I was like, I'm working here. Just wait. I'm in the you zone. You need to wait. Not now, Chief. So then I'll pick the best beer and put it up. But they were yeah. one of the better breweries. Yeah, I could tell. Like, I mean, first sip. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, bird song. I mean, this is, it's apples and oranges. It's a wit beer that's 4.3% that I had the first round. And then this one, being a double IPA, which is way, way more up my alley, at a nice hearty 8.5%. And, you know... I mean, being a being a craft beer lover, dude. Those IPAs, you like that nice hoppy, big badass flavor. Switch. I mean, that's just so, that's what you grow to love. I gave you the better beer. This is a uh, well, I don't know if it's better, but probably this is a three C India Pale Ale, and it's like so I'm tripping already, and it's only six point two percent, but it's a 2015 Great American Beer Festival Bronze Medal winner, American style strong pale ale. I bet the triple C is more of like something to do with like Charlotte and yeah maybe maybe like the street Carl that they sh- and Kathy maybe it's like Kraft Charlotte and like the street they're on or something I I I don't want to I don't want to sit here and say they're a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> drug lovers or something but but I mean yes, that was that was definitely a thing like the whole triple C's thing I I kind of want to look that up and see exactly what uh what I got wrong there once again this is not in any way affiliated with uh. With the, it uh, is the what brewery. it is, right? I don't know, but anyway. So, but it was a nice. It was right across the street from the Hyde. That was not good beer. Good restaurant, bad beer. 
but it, I don't know. They have a new train in Charlotte. Let's just digress a little. I got it. You want you want it? So, yeah. All right. Triple C or uh, Cordy's, depending on what part of the country you're from, is slang term for over-the-counter medication called Coracetin HPB. It's cough and cold, which contains dextromorphine or DXM. So basically, like, yeah, I when remember you to, that. When I you like take about a that. bunch of like, uh, yeah. like uh, DXM, you know, like uh, cough syrup, like robo tripping and stuff. There not to say that I no, knew about that what, stuff back in the day. I have no idea what but. you're talking about here. But <laughs> all right, sorry, sorry. I just fine. had to get that. So out I'm pretty there. sure that's not what they're doing here. I don't, I don't think smell so. any of that. I don't think so. I mean, not if, if, if we, I knew what that smelled if like. If we start robo tripping in a little bit, then we'll know <laughs> something's going on as we're at triple C. So, so let me just expand a little bit on my. Uh, so it was across the street from Hyde Brewing, who over here I didn't give them. I gave them one score, and that was a barley wine, and it only got a four. So if I'm drinking a barley wine, it only got a four. And that's their best beer. No. But uh, we talked about Heist. Then we went to a place called Lenny Boy Brewing. Lenny Boy. Belgian Triple got a four. So I'm saying, you know, that one is good. And a Belgian Triple? Yeah, wow. You not think that... that good. Wow, okay. Wooden Robot Brewing. Eight there. I can't remember what it was. It was very trendy. So good food, not good beer. Yeah. But one no, I'm spots. talking about, you know, Wooden Robot was good beer uh, and good food. I think uh, I gave it mostly fours here. Four, two, five. But... It was like they had a good morning Vietnam beer, which is like my thing when I'm traveling. You know, I always, because I, I love You like that to movie. wake up. And yeah, I wake up, take a picture. It's like, good morning, Las Vegas. Of course, everyone else over here, it's like four in the afternoon. All right. Because I got up at 12. And then we went to the Wooden Robot. It did have a lot of cool people there. We chatted up. We sat at a multiple table and chatted people got up. Got to meet Had people. a really good time. That's good. Yeah. And the restaurant was kind of separate, so we got to meet them and the beer people. It was good. That was a good brewery. Catawba Brewing Company, I went to because we got Catawbas around here. Yeah, that, that, would stand, Triple, that would stand out to me. Belgian Triple 425. Nice. Wise Man Brewing, my, this is my favorite brewery. It's the only brewery that got a five on the whole trip. And this, I, I, it was a Grisette. Did we drink one of those like a year and a half ago? I, I mean, I recognize the brewery name. That Wise Man Brewing, but did we drink a Grisette? It's a style of beer. It's kind of like a... Kind of like a saison, kind of like a ghost combination there, hmm. and, and and it was perfectly made. I looked it up, and the thing gets like from everyone else a three six four. Really, I gave and it you a just five. Loved it. Well, I that's loved a that's it. a very unique style. I, yeah. I mean, you don't even hear. I've of only those. heard of it once before. I can't remember if we drank it, but a I grisette. drank one of them once before in my in my career. Interesting. I've had a lot of beers. Then we went to Fiddle and Fish Brewing Company, which had a really cool name. Had a nice big man, IPAs. You, you, you made the best of this trip, man. I'm impressed. And then Liz left her purse there. Oops. And I had to walk back. An excuse and get to come it. back. Fortunately, they were within beer. walking distance of each other. <laughs> so then we were going to go to Mayberry on our way back and do uh, this. We, these were a couple of these were the, the next day. We ended up going to Chaos Mountain, my mm. whole buddies. Yeah. It was our fourth anniversary. Oh, they were having a celebration? They were. Cool. We hung out there for a while and came home. And then, uh, and I remember, and you know, we had D nine last week. Did you hit D nine? How was that? I did. I hit D nine the first night down. On, on the like, way down. Yeah, we just actually we pregamed that that um, barley wine. Yeah. Before this show, mm -hmm. it wasn't bad. Their beer was okay. Their sours were not famous as they claimed them to be. And you were talking about before the show. Yeah, let me see. What, what, I what gave about them. the show, man? How was it? I, oh, I mean, the show I know was so good. Still already, Dan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was well. Doobie Brothers do the same show. They've been doing the same show for thirty years. But if you've never been like me, I was supposed to see them in Chicago, but oh, they definitely bailed. See them. They play really well, dude. And they had oh, they had Billy Payne from Little Feet playing keys, dude. And so, I was wearing a Little Feet shirt. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, so uh, but you said Steely Dan was better. Oh yeah, I, I went and got a sixteen dollar draft beer. And they came back to see Steely Dan. A sixteen dollar Bud Light. <laughs> no, it was not a Bud Light. It was something a little. They had better actually over. had it's all it was all InBev products, mm -hmm. all, but they did have some good stuff because there is good stuff down there. I had a Dale's Pale Ale. I'm trying to remember the other ones. I had like four different beers, but yeah, the Steely Dan guy is amazing, and he's got like backup singers. You know, that's one of my goals in life to have backup singers. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch hey. of hot chicks. Just, yeah, well, I guess. I well, mean, you know, they so, were actually so their age, or were right, they younger? They, they were not young, yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and there's a, 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 a black woman who just really had a set of pipes, mm -hmm. and then there was a cute brunette who just really was hot. Made you want to lay the yeah, pipes. She's probably like <laughs> 45, you know, but still, I was up there. 
looking. And then, yeah, everybody, the Doobie Brothers and the Steely Dan guy, whose name escapes me. One of them died, the other one didn't. Yeah. His, they just can't hit all the notes, but it really didn't matter. Whatever. And he Dude, had like every- a four-piece saxophone backup. Yeah, the, the drummer, horns. Drummer, young guy. The, everybody's studio musicians except him. Drummer, amazing. See, man, that's the thing with a show like amazing. that. Like, those are just, you know you're going to have a good time at a show like that because everybody there is and it, knows ta- every there word to, to every and, song. And is ready to have just a damn good time. And the Doobie Brothers are, like, letting everybody sing, which I don't really like. You know, we're going to sing anyway, but you sing it because I want to hear you sing it. But the Steely Dan's like, no, we're just going to sing it. You can sing along, but we're just going to yeah, turn no, it up and sing anyway. Yeah, no, I hate that, too, anyway. like, where they be yeah. like, all right, and you say the words. No, man. No, no, like, I didn't come here to a, sing. We're going to sing along, but, yeah, I, I'm kind of with you on that. Yeah, I'm just like, Unless no. it's like... Unless it's like a part of the song where like it's a different person doing different parts, then it kind of makes sense, and it's like a back and forth. Yeah, yeah, a call but, and a turn. But if, and but blues. if it's not like you say the main the main line and the main words that everybody loves of the song, because I know you're going to. I mean, you could do that maybe once, but yeah, I'm just, with you. I'm, I'm with yeah, you. I'm just not a big fan. I digress. How about that beer, man? Well, the triple C, three C. You know, this is a good solid any pale ale, bronze medal winner, but. Now we're 2018, so they probably expand in their system, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's not exemplary. Oh, exemplary. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if either of us did. It's a good, <laughs> solid 4.25. 4.25? What does that mean, 4.25? It means it's not, I mean, it's not, I expected it to be a three, 4.75 or 5 because of the the bronze medal. Five out of what? what? I don't know oh, what you're spe- oh, speaking about of untapped. with these numbers. What do these the numbers app, mean? Untapped app, which is what <laughs> saved me when I was searching the internet earlier because I couldn't remember the names of the places I went. So I went on my untapped app and I looked at my beers and I flipped through and found everywhere I went. And what's it's great. It's like a history of, of Huck and beer. It really is. Honestly, like I, that's one, I've done that before too. Like, oh yeah, I'm pretty, well, let me see. Where and when I had that beer. It's a pretty handy free app. And then, yeah, you could check in the beers you have. You can say what you liked about them. Give them a rating of 0.25 to 5, which is the scale that we like to use on this show. And this is uh, this is probably, if I had to add up how many times we've plugged and spilled <laughs> untapped, it's probably at least 30 minutes. And believe it or not, at least 30 minutes. Way more than that, probably. And believe it or not, well, they don't endorse us or anything. We're not endorsed. This is not any sort of a Yeah, we don't even plug, get anything. I actually pay to be a member of Untapped. Yeah, I, I pay five bucks a month, It's and you pay by the year. And they give you less. all these dumb badges and stuff to make yeah, you feel like, got, hey, oh, look at you. I got 1,400, I think. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I have more badges than I do beers. Yeah. Like, it's insane. It's like 1,400. Now. Either way, so uh, 425, 1447. You said? you said 425? 425, yeah. That's not bad. It's not bad. Well, it's I'll tell beer. you what. The baby maker, which yeah, what's going on there? I guess is is that what is that what they're going for? Like this is a nice big beer. It's a double. It's a double Indian pale ale. Which I means think if you drink, if your lady friend next drinks thing one, you it's know, kind of like a panty dropper. Yeah, it might be. It might be the mean. baby maker. You yeah. drink a few of these, you might not be smart enough to do at least right in thing. my book to yeah, yeah. <laughs> to to play yourself smart and safe and uh, make sure. Well, they ain't so yeah, we're it. making babies. <laughs> Luckily, I'm with Huck, and we sure as hell ain't making no babies in this studio. But um, but no, man, this is <laughs> no. this is a great beer. This is a good beer. Mm. I don't know if it's because of all the triple C's they're throwing in there got me feeling good. I think I hear a five coming down the line. Oh, I don't know about a five. <laughs> Let me take one more sip to be sure. Oh mercy. Mm. And and the verdict, is, judges. Do you have your? Answer? I mean, it's just everything you'd like for a, a double IPA like this. If 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 somebody asked me what a double IPA was, I would throw say, this right this. in front of them and say, "Drink, drink that, this. drink this." That's a good uh, double IPA. If it's not a five, it's not a five. If it's if it's not a five, if it's, it's a, a it's at five. least a four seven five in my book. This is just a damn good beer. Damn good mm-hmm. beer. And Triple then the C. three C's you're gonna be tripping later. You might as well throw that. I want to. I want to phone. I want to. <laughs> I want to get down there and ask them what's up with the triple C. <laughs> It's got to be some, and that's the other thing. It's like purple and and teal, kind of like you know the hornet's colors. So I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta think that that's like, it's probably like you know. This one's green. Oh, how about this, Charlotte, 
Carolina and craft beer. Triple C's. Could be. Could, could, it, could be? it be? Could it be? That's good. Pulled that right out of my ass. You All young, right. You young people can think. <laughs> well, there you go. Thank you, as always, Huck, for bringing in the great beers, man. Huck's Beer Buzz on all of the social media, Gmail, uh, any any way you want to reach them. You can Facebook, just pretty much type in Huck. www.hucksbeerbuzz.com. There you go. And uh, we will take a quick break, and we'll get back to the tunes right here on 105.3 The Bear. Stick around.